Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cineview. For this episode, we'll be taking a look at Poor Things, based on a novel by the late Alistair Gray. It is written by Oscar and Emmy nominee Tony McNamara, and the director is Oscar nominee Yorgos Lanthimos, who is also one of the four producers, which includes the lead star for the film, Oscar winner Emma Stone. Also starring are two-time Emmy winner and Oscar, Grammy, and Tony nominee, Mark Ruffalo. Four-time Oscar nominee, Willem Dafoe. Two-time Emmy nominee, Grammy Youssef. Chris Abbott, and Emmy winner, Jared Carmichael. Victoria Blessington was a pregnant woman who committed suicide by jumping off a bridge. Her body was discovered by Dr. Godwin Baxter who took the body and performed a special surgery on it, replacing Victoria's brain with that of her unborn child. Godwin named her Bella Baxter, and she would struggle to improve her cognitive abilities. Max McCandles wanted to marry her, and she didn't accept it at first, but then she was tired of being protected by her master, God. And she wanted to go out there in the world and travel. She managed to get the opportunity to travel with Duncan Wedderburn. And it was quite a huge adventure, full of great discoveries, complications, and tons of exploitative activities. Belle returned to London and she found out that her brain was replaced with that of her unborn child, which made her lose trust in Godwin and Max. So at Bella and Max's wedding, when Alfie Blessington, Bella's former husband, tried to take her back, Bella decided to go back with Alfie. But then she discovered why B Victoria Blessing had committed suicide in the first place. Alfie was pretty abusive, so Bella decided to go back. Dr. Godwin Baxter died, but Bella decided to live at the place for the rest of her life. Critics and audiences praised the film. It got an A- on Cinema Score and 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. It had several award wins and nominations. It had seven Golden Globe nominations, two of which they won for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy and Best Film, Musical or Comedy. And it also has a whopping 11 Oscar nominations, the second most amount of nominations for the 96th Academy Awards, only behind Oppenheimer with 13 nominations. But my personal opinion on the film, I wouldn't say it would get all of those nominations in my book. While the setting and design was very beautiful, the film itself, it was pretty mixed. There were a few good moments, but there were also some boring moments and plenty of cringeworthy moments. And I wasn't really fond of the ending. So overall, I think the movie was okay. My score for it, would be six and a half stars out of ten. So that's my review on Poor Things. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time on Cineview.